Well, 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 what do we have here? Nine brand new electric vehicles worth over £275,000 left abandoned on Nottingham streets for seven months. Can you believe that? These gorgeous Fisker Ocean EVs, still wrapped in plastic with import stickers attached, became what locals called an EV graveyard after a major Tesla rival spectacularly collapsed. And guys, the auction that is now selling these machines for pennies on the pound reveals something truly shocking about the EV industry that nobody's talking about. So stick around because this is the story. These abandoned Fisker Ocean EVs were discovered creating quite the roadside spectacle on Colwick Road and Racecourse Road in East Nottingham. Now look, these were originally retailing between 36,900 to a whopping 58K. These premium electric SUVs were meant to be Fisker's triumphant challenge to Tesla's dominance. Instead, they became a dusty monuments to an EV startup's dramatic implosion. Now look, I've been watching this story unfold for months and trust me, it perfectly illustrates why patience is sometimes the smartest strategy in the EV transition. But look, let's be honest, luxury EVs don't just get abandoned roadside without an absolutely fascinating backstory. You see, what happened here reveals the brutal reality of EV startups trying to compete in an extraordinary capital intensive market. Now look, Fiscal was once a valued at billions after going public in 2020 and it spiraled into bankruptcy in June 2024, leaving dealers, customers and these vehicles completely stranded. And if you think traditional automakers have it tough transitioning to electric, this story shows why the startup path might be even rockier. So here's what happened and it's almost too ridiculous to believe. Premium Central Performance and Prestige Cars, a local dealer that had signed on to distribute Fisker in the UK, suddenly found themselves with inventory they couldn't legally sell after Fisker's collapse. Their solution? They literally just parked the vehicles roadside and contacted liquidators, essentially washing their hands of responsibility back in October 2023. I mean, that's one way to handle inventory problems, right? Now, the vehicles then sat exposed to the elements for seven months, despite Nottingham City Council issuing removal notices in March 2025. So just picture this. Cars were 40 to 60k just sitting there collecting dust while bureaucracy just crawls along. And we've all seen these projects delayed by red tape, but this takes it to another level. Now let's talk about what makes this situation even more tragic from a technical perspective. You see, these aren't just any EVs. These are Fisker Ocean SUVs, the company's flagship model. And that genuinely brought interesting innovations to the table. Now we're talking cutting edge features that include solar roof panels that could add up to 1500 miles of range annually sustainably sourced interior materials including recycled fishing nets and ranges exceeding 350 miles on the higher trims. Now only about 7,000 oceans were ever produced before Fisker's liquidation, making these vehicles both innovative and increasingly rare. But look, here's where the story gets really interesting. You see, Fisker's bankruptcy didn't come out of nowhere. It collapsed after a failed partnership talk with Nissan, and production pauses due to cash flow problems and melting debts exceeding one billion dollars the company that once aimed to revolutionize sustainable transportation couldn't sustain itself leaving 419 uk owners in a uniquely terrible position and these vehicles abandoned like yesterday's technology now look, this is the perfect case study in why sometimes being an early adopter comes with kind of some serious risks that we don't always factor into with these exciting purchase decisions. And just imagine being one of these existing Fisker owners in the UK right now. You've invested in what you thought was a premium EV with a bright future. And suddenly the manufacturer simply just disappears, taking with it access to spare parts, software updates, and also warranty support. Now these roadside oceans represent not just wasted resources and environmental irony, but shattered customer trust. And as one Fisker owner group member told reporters, they're now forming owner associations just to keep their vehicles operational, turning to each other instead of the company they trusted with their money. 
<laughs> well, guys, we've seen this move before with other failed automotive startups, but rarely with the visual symbolism of abandoned luxury products on public streets. It's both a technical and an emotional failure that affects real people who made what they thought were forward thinking choices. And after all that time, John Pye Auctions finally collected these vehicles on April the 16th, 2025, and they're adding them to their total of the other 44 Fiskars Oceans being prepared for auction across the UK. And do you know what the truly shocking part is? These vehicles cost nearly £60,000 new, and they're now just being sold for ten to £15,000. That's a catastrophic depreciation, reflecting the risks that come with an EV startup investment. And while bargain hunters might see tremendous opportunity in these auctions, the vehicles come with significant caveats that smart buyers need to consider. No warranties, uncertain software support, and potential parts availability issues that could turn a bargain into a very expensive paperweight. And this mirrors American leases purchase of Fisker's remaining 3,000 oceans in the US for just $13,900 each, a fraction of the original value, and a powerful reminder of how quickly advanced technology can lose value without proper support and infrastructure. Now look, the Nottingham EV graveyard serves as a sobering reminder of the volatility in the emerging electric vehicle market, especially for companies without the deep pockets and established service networks of traditional automakers. And look, as established players continue their electric transition with existing infrastructure and more sustainability runway, startups face an increasingly difficult path to survival. And this is leaving early adopters potentially stranded. And you know what? Sometimes, just sometimes, the innovative choice isn't, isn't the safest one, which is something we all have to consider when evaluating the next exciting EV startup promising to revolutionize transportation. So let me ask you a question. Would you take a chance on these automated Fisker Oceans at these dramatically reduced prices? I'd really love to know what you think. Do you think they're incredible bargains or potential maintenance nightmares? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Now, the next auction is actually happening on April the 21st at John Pye's Burnham site. So if you're interested in seeing just how low these vehicles might go, check out their link in the description. And guys, do you want to stay ahead of the EV curve? Every Thursday, I send out a comprehensive analysis of the week's biggest developments in the electrical vehicle space. From breaking technical innovations to market movements that matter, the Electric Oracle Weekly delivers the insights you need straight to your inbox. It's free, it's focused, and it's made for people who want to understand where this industry is really heading. You'll find the sign-up link in the description box below. And look guys, as always, if you've enjoyed this breakdown of the EV industry trauma, smash that like button and subscribe for more electric vehicle news, analysis and insights that will keep you ahead of the curve. Guys, thank you so much for watching. My name's Des from the Electric Oracle and I'll see you in the next video.